Hi folks, I'm Jason Webster. I'm a commercial agronomist with Precision Planning. Today we are at our PTI farm, our Precision Technology Institute in Pontiac, Illinois, and I thought I'd share with you some of the agronomic research we have on this 200 acre research farm. Behind me is one of the studies we're working on involving nitrogen management. And uh, this has been a study we've done here for a couple years and it's been kind of interesting what we found. You know, the treatment right here is 50% is of our nitrogen applied as a weed and feed. So with our herbicide as a broadcast spray application. And then we come back at side dress time and we put the other remaining 50% on it. And, and this really was the majority of our nitrogen programs in the past. This program worked very good, so it's our control. This is kind of what we're using as our status quo, if you will, kind of our norm. Uh, so this has worked really well for us. We've grown some really nice corn. We were pretty happy with it. But something's happened since um, Conceal has come to the market. So Conceal is a planter nitrogen attachment. So at planting time, we can apply nitrogen, not, nitrogen now three inches away from the furrow. So it, for crop safety, it's an excellent way to apply nitrogen, sulfur, and boron, really the three main nutrients that we can't put in the furrow because of crop safety. So this is our, this is our control, 50% weed and feed, 50% on the side dress side, and I've got planter applied nitrogen right next to it, just for a comparison. And um, this corn is a little bit shorter. We are going through pollination right now. This particular treatment um, is about 25% through the pollination process right now. But as we move down, I wanna show you our next treatment with the planter applied nitrogen, where it's at maturity wise, and, and kind of how it compares to our normal program of a 50-50. Okay, so this particular treatment was right next to where we were with our 50-50, 50, 50, 50 weed and feed, 50 side dress. Here's where we eliminate the weed and feed broadcast spray application and replace it with the same amount of nitrogen, that 50%, with conceal. Okay, so again, that conceal knife is tucked right in the middle of the gauge wheel of the planter, so we're three inches away from the furrow. Very safe, crop safety wise, but close enough, you know, as a high concentrated band, that corn plant can find it quickly early in the season. So this corn is in full pollination. It's almost done as a matter of fact. You remember the last treatment I showed you, it was about 25% in the pollination process. So this corn was not slowed down. It was actually, the maturity was sped up by having that nitrogen more available. And uh, it's gonna probably turn out a very good thing with the weather situation we have. We're very hot and dry and uh, anything that's going to be pollinating later could be potentially hurt. So this corn looks really good. I wanna show you to the field edge of these two, two treatments so you can kind of see the height difference. So on this side is my broadcast spray application at 50% followed by a side dress. So got a little bit shorter corn and height doesn't matter a whole lot, but it just, this corn struggled for a good portion of the spring because it didn't have adequate access to nitrogen. Where we put planter applied nitrogen on, this side of me, you can see taller corn. It's further ahead in the pollination process, almost done, as a matter of fact. But this was a, the, anywhere we had planter applied nitrogen this year really showed some nice benefits. Uh, this will actually be our third year of yield data, looking at Conceal and, and some of our nitrogen management trials. Right now, the way, way it's kind of where it stands is where we've got planter applied nitrogen, we're seeing net gains of over $60 to the acre just by the way we apply our nitrogen. So we're challenging the status quo. This is kind of the way we've done it in the past. We're looking at new ways of doing it and we're actually doing things better. So we're doing it smarter, we're doing it more efficiently and we're making more dollars per acre and that's what it's all about. Now, this is corn. Can conceal be used for other crops? We've got some soybeans in, in testing this year so we're seeing some nice, um, um, differences in corn. Let's go to some soybeans and we'll show you some of the work we're doing with soybeans with Conceal as well. All right, now we're in uh, some of our fertility treatments with Conceal on soybeans. You know, we just talked about, you know, how effective Conceal um, has been with nitrogen management, but what about other things, other crops? We've already got Conceal on the planter. Can we use it for other crops such as soybeans? And the answer is yes. In this particular study, we're working with Marco Fertilizer on a product 14124 with a six on the sulfur side. We're coming in with rates with Conceal of 10, 15, and 20 gallon to the acre. Again, this 14124 6S is basically made from UAN 10340 and ammonium thiosulfate. 
three products that are, are totally unsafe in the furrow. They're just too salty. And so we need to get them out of the furrow and that's why we're, we're, we chose Conceal as our application type. Three inches away from the furrow, 30 inch row soybeans, and of all the plots we've had here at PTI, at least with soybeans, these have shown us the biggest visual response. Taller beans, we've got uh, increased maturity on these beans. We've got height, height differences out here. Who knows if it'll come to, to a yield response, but the past two years, we've seen some nice yield responses with net returns of near a positive $25 of the acre. Again, we've already got Conceal on the planter. We're just trying to use it with other crops and th this one's been a nice one for us. But um, about a week ago, we were seeing some huge visual differences where we've got this product applied with Conceal. It's kind of, um, it's not showing as much right now, but these beans are further ahead. They're gonna flower quickly. You know, we're running almost to, to, to V6, that six trifoliate, and we ought to have flowers any moment now. And where we applied this fertilizer, they're gonna be flowering first. And on a year where we planted so late, June 5th to June 15th, we need all the time we can get here. So the earlier we can flower, hopefully the higher yields we can get. And we're trying to do that with applications like this. These are just a few trials we're working on here at the PTI farm, the Precision Planting, Precision Technology Institute. If you'd like to come out and see these trials we talked about today and lots, lots more, come visit us. We've got slots open all summer long. We're running field days. We're not just a one day field show. We run all summer long. So we're running the rest of July. We're running all of August and even into September. So contact your precision planting dealer nearest you. Talk to them. Tell them you want to come to the PTI farm. They'd be glad to invite you along. Thanks for watching.